True peace, Kins. It is June 15, 2020, and I am back at y'all with another one. And if you trying to stay ahead of the game, you should subscribe to Peep the Slain. <laughs> Some surprising questions. Fewer insights after deep fake detection challenge. Hey, that's the headline, Peep the Slain. Few, if any, unique or actionable insights have resulted from a lengthy contest created by Facebook to defang deep fake content, which threatens to erode social tile trust in knowledge, information, and legitimate authority. Mm. It is not even clear how to interpret some of the more significant outcomes flowing from Facebook's 1 million deep fake detection challenge. The best that can be said right now is that the winning detection software correctly determined real video and deep fakes an average of just 65% of the time against a black box data set. This data set was not available to entrance. Their algorithms encountered unknown circumstances. A public data set was disputed to entrance who used it to train models for circumstances it contained. The best that an algorithm could do against the public data was an average of 82.56%, a common accuracy measure for computer vision tasks, according to Facebook. The top ranking model was written by Salim Sefer-Bakov, a computer vision engineer at Found Dry Group Back Mapbox who lives in Belarus. It is notable that the third best black box score was in Tech Lab, a Russian facial recognition firm that has courted controversy throughout its existence, first creating a data app that encouraged users to take pictures of anyone in sight to match against social media databases. Today, it is using its AI skills to scan faces found in real time by the tens of thousands of surveillance cameras in Moscow. Number six was Konstantin Simachik, co-founder of IDRND and venture back New York-based firm using biometric authentication for fraud prevention. Eighth on the list is, in fact, IDRND. The experiment was begun in December by the social media icon, Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Corp, and Partnership on AI, a nonprofit coalition advocating for reins on the algorithms. Last week, Facebook executives began releasing some results. More are expected this week at the Computer Vision and Pattern Recognition Conference. Ultimately, 35,109 training models were submitted by 2,114 participants to analyze 115,000 challenge videos, short performances by about 3,500 paid actors compromising 38.5 days of data make up the original unaltered experiment data. In a Fortune article discussing results of the contest, it is pointed out that it is known why some algorithms that perform well with the public data set could not match their success with the private data set. One guess is that there were probably subtle differences between the videos Facebook created for the competition and genuine deep fakes that the constant the contestant the contestants algorithms couldn't handle according to the article it is also noted that no winning algorithms use common digital forensic methods in analyzing chips those methods include such basic techniques as looking for metadata and other indications that an image was indeed created by a camera apparently it is not known if entrance dismissed them as not worth inclusions or that the entrance who are among the best in machine learning do not know about such basic tools there is a temptation to brush off concern about the challenges vague outcomes as those derived during the early days of a new software revolution but the quarry highly realistic images and videos of synthetic people is hardly older than the hunting tools what is more political forces in the u.s and around the world seem to be working continuously to discredit all the forms of information and knowledge One more thing.